Hello YouTube, I'm Retro Steve UK, and welcome to this retrospective look at 10 of the greatest catchphrases from old UK television adverts. These are catchphrases, or ad phrases if you will, that burned their way into our memories and entered the public consciousness in a big way, sometimes even being quoted in general conversation decades later. Most of the suggestions for this list were provided by viewers of my Retro Steve UK channel. Credits for these suggestions will appear on screen with each entry, so congratulations to you if your suggestion was used. If yours hasn't made the list, watch out for my follow-up video covering the greatest advert jingles, as some of your suggestions will be used in that. So let's crack on now with the countdown. Number 10. It does exactly what it says on the tin. We've all heard, and probably used, the phrase, it does what it says on the tin. And since the Ron Seal ad campaign launched in 1994, it's become part of the everyday British vernacular. Used to describe something that does what it promises to do in a straightforward way, one might say that this ad phrase does indeed do exactly what it says on the tin. Number 9. If you see Sid, tell him. So who's Sid? Well, none of us ever really found out. In 1986, Thatcher's government sold off the nation's gas company for a fast buck, and this was the ad campaign that tried to persuade us to jump on the bandwagon. A series of adverts showed various ordinary people across Britain sharing the news about the British gas sell-off, urging each other to tell Sid about it. Millions of people across the country were caught up in the craze, repeating the catchphrase and speculating about who this mysterious Sid might be. Number 8. The Milky Bars are on me! For five decades, the Milky Bar Kid handed out free Milky Bars in the Old West and also in outer space for a short period when the ad companies thought cowboys were no longer fashionable. Unfortunately, we no longer see the kid on our screens anymore, thanks to modern legislation protecting children from direct junk food advertising. But from 1961 to the 2010s, that immortal phrase, the milky bars are on me, was permanently branded into our brains and will undoubtedly stay there until our final days. Number seven. Have a break, have a Kit Kat. The famous ad phrase that urges us to eat a Kit Kat whenever we're having a break has its origins in the early 1900s when the snack was first produced. A company employee suggested making a chocolate bar that people could take to work, and eventually, in 1957, the have a break tagline was coined. Just try saying have a break to anyone and you can pretty much guarantee they'll respond with have a Kit Kat. Unless of course they know that old joke about the constipated cat. You can check the description if you've never heard that one. Number six. But then Mr. Kipling always does make exceedingly good cakes. We've been enjoying Mr. Kipling's exceedingly good cakes since 1967, when the tagline was first dreamed up. And although Mr. Kipling himself has never actually existed, we still retain nostalgic memories of the warm, comforting voice of actor James Hayter, who also played Mr. Tebbs in Are You Being Served, as he waxed lyrical about Mr. Kipling's various cakes, pies, and slices. Who on earth, young or old, wouldn't understand the reference if you ask them who it is that makes exceedingly good cakes? Number five. I bet he drinks Carly Black Label. <laughs> the beer we know as Carling today was called Carling Black Label up until 1997. And in the 26 years that this particular ad campaign ran, we were treated to some of the funniest adverts ever to hit our TV screens. The basic scenario had two onlookers observing someone doing something amazing, impressive, or even downright impossible, and then exclaiming, I bet he drinks Carling Black Label. The phrase has since become synonymous with amazing achievements, and those of us who remember the adverts can still occasionally be heard uttering those words when witnessing something impressive. Number four. Do you love anyone enough to give them your last roller? Soft, creamy toffee in a milk chocolate cup. Since the early 80s, we've been pondering the question of whether or not we give up our last Rolo for someone that we love. There can't be many people who haven't said or at least heard of this timeless ad phrase, and it's become so embedded in British culture, we can now buy Rolos made of sterling silver and presented in a romantic gift box. Personally, I've found a workaround. 
Just have a second packet ready as a backup for when the first one's finished. After all, it is the thought that counts, right? Number three. Do you know the piano's on my foot? <laughs> you am it, Sam. I'll play it. You've got to be getting on a bit now if you originally saw this in 1971. Although the ad must have been repeated over the years, because I remember seeing it on TV when I was growing up in the 1980s. Despite the now obvious animal welfare issues, this is still one of the best loved PG Tips chimp adverts. Not only featuring the cute chimps in a humorous situation, but also featuring one of the best word puns ever heard in an advert. The you hum it son I'll play it phrase has stuck around ever since, and will undoubtedly remain in the public consciousness for generations to come. Number two. My name, oh yes, it's J. R. Hartley. That poor old fella scouring the second-hand bookshops for a copy of Fly Fishing by J. R. Hartley. His emotional journey had us curious when the advert first aired in 1983. Why was he so desperate for a copy of this book? Maybe it was one from his childhood, or perhaps he was just looking to buy it as a gift. Well, we had no idea until the end of the advert, when all was revealed in a heartwarming twist. After phoning a shop listed in the yellow pages that has a copy, he gives them his name. And of course, it turns out that he is the author of the long lost book in question, J. R. Hartley. Ready break. Good and hot. Central heating for kids. And all because the lady loves milk tray. We're not a jack of all trades. We just like to think we're the master of one. Carlsberg. Probably the best lager in the world. Number one. Accrington Stanley. Who are they? Exactly. I guess in 1989, the idea of drinking milk when there's lemonade on offer must have been fairly repulsive. But as we see in this advert, it turns out that milk is what the footballer Ian Rush drinks. And if you don't drink lots of milk, when you grow up, you'll only be good enough to play for Accrington Stanley. This classic ad phrase became so solidly embedded in the public consciousness, it put Accrington Stanley on the map, and the kid who was on camera grew up to be a successful actor. Carl Rice has since had roles in TV shows Brassic, Trolley, and Coronation Street, among others. Unfortunately, the kid who was off camera who uttered the Who Are They line ended up being jailed in 2022 for murder after descending into a life of drugs and crime. This disappointing turn of events aside, the Accrington Stanley ad phrase remains an absolute classic and is still very deserving of the top spot on this list. So what did you think? Disagree with the rundown? Was your favourite missing? Let us know in the comments. And if you'd like your thoughts included in a future retrospective video, I'll be asking for your contributions through my various social media accounts. Links are in the description, so be sure to give me a follow on any of those. We'll finish off now with a proper look at the advert that took the top spot. But first I'd like to thank everyone who responded with their suggestions. I probably couldn't have made the video without your help. Thank you also for liking and subscribing, and of course, thank you all for watching Retrospectives. Got any lemonade? If you want. drinks. Ian Rush? Yeah, and he said if I didn't drink lots of milk, when I grow up, I'm going to be good enough to play for Accrington Stanley. Accrington Stanley? Who are they? Exactly. Now nah, get off. Give me some. Get off. Accrington Stanley?